From the White House to the wardrobe, this man has seen it all. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Anthony Hopkins performances. His heart was strong enough to survive the grave. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, please subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at the best roles ever played by the celebrated Welsh actor Sir Anthony Hopkins. An Oscar winner with three BAFTAs under his belt, two Emmys and a Cecil B. DeMille Award, this thespian is a fellow of the British Academy and was knighted in 1993. With such a lengthy list of honours, awards and achievements, it's about time he had his own top 10. I know they will never ever let me out while I'm alive. Number 10. Odin Thor while Hopkins has carved a clear reputation for period pieces and playing the villain, he has consistently proven his immense versatility with roles like this. Starring as Odin, Thor's father and ruler of Asgard, he marches into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and delivers a kingly performance. Father, we'll finish them together! Silence! His godly son may be the one with the hammer, but Odin always has the final word, even exiling Thor for the good of the realm. I now take from you your power! Ruling Asgard is a tiring business, but Hopkins has it down to a T, at least until an ambiguous ending to the series sequel, The Dark World. Loki, what did you do? Number 9. C.S. Lewis, Shadowlands as one of the world's most cherished children's authors, it's difficult to think of C.S. Lewis and not instantly transport through the wardrobe into Narnia. But the writer's own life story is subject for our next film, which sees Hopkins star as Jack Lewis himself. Shadowlands explores the relationship between Lewis and the American poet Joy Davidman, played by Deborah Winger, serving as a frank and heartbreaking account of love and loss. What does it say, him? The magic. Never ends. Well, if it does, sue him. A poignant story set in and around Oxford University in the 1950s, Hopkins' portrayal sheds new light on the affections, conflicts, and motives behind the man responsible for one of literature's greatest ever fantasies. How could Joy be my wife? I'd have to love her, wouldn't I? Number 8 Richard Nixon, Nixon. I suppose Castro staged the whole thing just to beat you. Buddy, before you join the jubilation of my being beaten again, you should remember the people vote not out of love, but fear. A presidential outing which earned Hopkins a Best Actor nomination at the 68th Academy Awards, but he might never have played the part at all. The likes of Tom Hanks, Jack Nicholson, Gene Hackman, and Warren Beatty were reportedly all sounded out for the role before director Oliver Stone settled with the Welshman, convinced in part with his performance in Shadowlands. And what a good choice he turned out to be. You're not threatening me, are you? Presidents don't threaten Jack. They don't have to. Balancing between a determined world leader and a man at the very end of his tether, Hopkins uncovers unknown size to the scandal-hit commander-in-chief. The infamous Republican mostly made headlines for the wrong reasons, but this performance earned praise from all corners. My mother used to pray. A lot. It's been a long time since I really prayed. Number 7. William Bly, The Bounty I could have passed it off with a laugh and have done less harm. The Royal Navy is not a humorous institution, sir, and insubordination is no laughing matter. The historic mutiny on the bounty has been given the big screen treatment on many an occasion, with Clark Gable, Marlon Brando, and Richard Harris all starring in earlier versions, but Hopkins leads an all-star cast in Roger Donaldson's 1984 film. He plays commanding Lieutenant William Bly opposite Mel Gibson's Fletcher Christian, leader of the mutineers. However, we are still faced with a long, hard voyage. I mean to make good use of every hour of sailing time. And to assist me in this, I'm replacing Mr. Fryer with Mr. Christian. A typically complex Hopkins character, the actor sails between harsh leader and heroic seaman for a film which, framed by a court-martial hearing, tells the story of how the HMS bounty was lost and explores where the blame should lie. Hear me! Are you prepared to make the best of it, all of you? Because all I can promise you, lads, is relentless pain and hardship. Number 6. Mr. Stevens, The Remains of the Day Much is often made of the apparent loneliness in Hopkins' characters, a trait perhaps most present in The Remains of the Day. This Kinton? Oh well. <laughs> 
a movie told in a series of flashbacks as Hopkins embarks on a nostalgic road trip. He plays the dutiful butler Stevens, who served an English lord in the years leading up to World War II. However, while going about his business, he remains blind to what's around him, including growing Nazi sympathies within the household and, most pivotally to the story, an emerging romance with another housekeeper played by Emma Thompson. Is it racy? Racy? Are you reading a racy book? Do you think racy books are to be found on his lordship's shelves? What do I know? The film was nominated for eight Oscars but came away without a single win. As if the love lost Stephen hadn't seen enough disappointment already. You have my warmest congratulations. <laughs> Number 5. Alfred Hitchcock, Hitchcock As we've already seen, Hopkins is a man adept at bringing major cultural icons to the silver screen, but how about one of the movie industry's most pioneering figures? Allow me to set your mind at rest, my dear. I will be shooting short bits of film from various angles. Mm. Cut together the montage will only suggest nudity, suggest violence. In 2012, he stepped out as the legendary director and master of suspense Alfred Hitchcock, a role which seemed custom made for his talents. Oh, you imp, you've got nudity in there. While her breasts were rather large, it was a challenge not to show them. While the movie did receive mixed reviews from critics, Hopkins was once again lauded for his part, as was Helen Mirren as Hitchcock's wife and collaborator, Alma Revel. A biopic which focuses on the filming of Psycho, it hits on Hitch's meticulous approach and highlights how Hopkins can make any role his own. <laughs> Number 4. Abraham Van Helsing, Bram Stoker's Dracula when a fabled vampire rocks up in London more than four centuries after denouncing God and embracing darkness, you really do need the right people in your corner. Vampires do exist. And this one we fight, this one we face, has the strength of 20 or more people. And you can testify for that, Mr. Harker. In Francis Ford Coppola's retelling of Bram Stoker's blood-sucking romance, it's Anthony Hopkins as Van Helsing who wages a gloriously gothic fight against Gary Oldman's Count Dracula. Always on hand with a ring of fire, crucifix, and a matter-of-fact attitude, he keeps a calm head when all around him are most definitely losing theirs. But more impressive than his slaying of the recently turned, here's yet another worldly accent which Hopkins makes light, wondrous work of. I bring you from shadow into light. I cast you out, the prince of darkness! Number 3. Robert Ford, Westworld uh, Perhaps it is time you had a worthy story of origin. Would you like that, Eddie? A small part of my new narrative? An actor well-versed in playing charismatic, enigmatic, and imposing roles, Hopkins was in his element as Robert Ford, creator and director of Westworld. In here we were gods, and you were merely our guests. A major player in this hit HBO series, he controls every detail of the eponymous android-filled amusement park. And while his character's methods and motives are increasingly questionable, Sir Anthony is a linchpin for the show. We know everything about our guests, don't we? As we know everything about our employees. And not to spoil anything, but as more and more is revealed about Ford's character and his secrets, we see what a subtle, complex performance Hopkins has given us. But can he maintain power over his machines? Not if Dolores has anything to do with it. That dog had spent its whole life trying to catch that thing. Now it had no idea what to do. Number two, Frederick Treves, The Elephant Man. Where are the children? Well, um, well, they're out with friends at the moment. While the excellent John Hurt takes the title role in David Lynch's look at the life of a disfigured Victorian freak show attraction, Hopkins stars as the one person willing to give the Elephant Man a chance. Dr. Treves invests a professional interest in John Merrick at first, given his unique appearance, but the pair soon develop a personal connection as Treves invites John to live alongside him. You're the monster, you're the freak dog, get out, you're finished! However, John's former circus isn't willing to relinquish its prized asset so easily, and Treves struggles not to turn his patient into a spectacle under his own watch. Another Hopkins picture which was nominated for eight Academy Awards but won none, Hurt truly deserves his plaudits, but Hopkins' performance is key. Freddie, what are you trying to say?
Am I a good man? Or am I a bad man? Before we unveil our top pick, here's a few honourable mentions. Do you know how to use that thing? Yes. The pointy end goes into the other man. Yeah, shut up, c You do it so good. You're even better than the garbage man. Ah! Did Bowman send you the instructions? <clears throat> yes. Good. You would understand we want complete demolition. Number one, Hannibal Lecter, The Silence of the Lambs. Good morning. In terms of iconic movie characters, today's winner has a lifelong seat at the topmost table, just make sure he sticks to the set menu. The brilliant doctor turned brutal cannibal, Hannibal Lecter may spend much of his time behind bars in a high security prison, but he can still get inside your head. Especially if you're a trainee FBI agent a la Jodie Foster. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. A serial killer with a taste for tasting his victims, Hopkins brings him to life by continually towing between intellect and insanity, remaining just as unhinged for prequels and sequels too. Today's winner, Lecter, is Hopkins' most famous role and a part which did earn him a Best Actor Oscar. Bravo, sir, bravo. Oh, and Senator, just one more thing. Love your suit. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.